Okay, today's lesson is a little bit different because we are doing a test or a, an assessment. So please take out your chapter six checkup. And if your parents are around or your older brother or your cousin or your aunt or your grandma or anyone, um, you need to make sure they don't help you complete this. This is your test and I need to know what you've learned. If you don't know an answer, it's perfectly fine. Um, that just lets me know that we need to work on that and that you don't understand that concept. So it's not a big deal. You're just going to do the best you can. I want you to pull out pages 161 and 162 and also grab a pencil, okay? The first thing we need to do is we need to look at the top of our page, okay? And it says match the objects to their shapes. So number one, they've given me a sphere. Number two, they've given me a cube. And number three, they've given me a cylinder. And I need to find objects below here that match. And I need to draw a line from the object on top to the object on the bottom that matches. Okay, you're going to do that with your pencil. I would highly suggest that you use your pencil to draw. I mean, I would rather, hang on, use your finger to make the line first. So draw an imaginary line with your finger and then do it with your pencil so that your lines don't end up all curly and crazy, okay? So you're drawing a line from the shapes to objects that match them below, okay? For number four, five, and six, they've given us a rectangle, a triangle, and a circle. And we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did up here. We're gonna match the everyday objects to the shapes that they match, okay? So you'll just draw a line from the bottom things to the top things, all right? That's real basic and it shouldn't be a challenge at all. All right. On the back side, you're going to imagine with numbers one, two, and three that you're dividing these objects in half. Okay. So you could divide the objects in half horizontally. You could also divide them vertically. So for example, I could divide this shape this way and so then i would look over here and pick which object over here is half of this object and i need to circle the one that is half of the first object i do the same for each of these i'm going to draw a line of symmetry i'm going to divide them in half and figure out which shape on this side is half of this shape over here and then i'll circle it okay if you need to draw a line with your pencil to give you a better idea of which shape it would be Feel free to do that. Okay. So once you've completed numbers one, two, and three, you're going to go down to number four. Number four, we have to imagine that we have a cookie. Okay. So this cookie is on a plate. It is a gingerbread man. He has his tie. And I'm going to flip this guy over. So which object would I get if I flip him over? So would it be the same? Would it be one that's over on its side? Or would it be the back? Okay, so if I flip the cookie, which one of these will I get? Circle the correct answer. For number five, I have a gingerbread girl. And for this one, I'm just going to slide. Remember when I slide an object, I just push it either up or down or over. So the object doesn't really change. I'm just pushing it over. So come over to this side and circle which one shows a slide. Okay, and circle that answer. Make sure you complete the whole test to the best of your ability and then take a picture of the front and the back and send it to Mrs. Plowman. Good luck.